Patrick Kearney was born in 1939 in East Los Angeles. The oldest of three children, Kearney grew up in a normal household. Kearney was described as small and sickly as a young boy. Over the course of his childhood, Kearney was teased and taunted by his peers, which had a profound effect on his overall self-worth and personality. By the time he entered his teen years, Kearney had become distant from society and begun having fantasies about murdering his classmates who had bullied him. Unbeknownst to his father at the time, a quiet afternoon of father-son bonding time would further cement Kearney's fixation on violence when the senior Kearney taught his son how to shoot a pig at age 13. Kearney became obsessed with killing pigs, even going as far as cutting the pigs open and rolling around in their intestines when no one was around. Throughout his high school years, Kearney fell deeper and deeper into his violent fantasies, losing touch with reality more and more. Once graduated from high school, Kearney joined the military where he met David Hill. Although Hill was married at the time, he and Kearney began having an affair. The two fell in love and after serving their time in the military, Hill left his wife to be with Kearney. The two started living together in Culver City, California. Their relationship was not without its problems. The two argued frequently. When the two fought, Kearney would often go on long car rides to clear his head. During one of those car rides in 1962, Kearney would claim the life of his first victim. An unidentified 19-year-old hitchhiking through the area, Kearney shot him behind the air, mirroring the technique his father taught him to kill pigs as a young boy. Once the murder was complete, he then sexually assaulted the victim's corpse. The victim was in his car, he would drive left-handed, and once he was certain no one could see the car, he would shoot the victim with his right hand. He would leave the body propped up in the passenger seat and drive to a secluded spot where he would sexually assault the bodies before dismembering them with a hacksaw. He would then place the dismembered parts of his victims in trash bags and dump them across different parts of the highway. Kearney and Hill eventually reunited in 1977, just in time for Kearney to get caught. Law enforcement were able to identify John Otis LeMay, Kearney's final victim. LeMay had informed a neighbor of his intent to meet up with David Hill, whom he met at a gym. LeMay came to the apartment that Hill shared with Kearney. Hill wasn't home when LeMay arrived. Kearney invited LeMay inside to wait for Hill to arrive home. Once inside the apartment, Kearney shot LeMay in the back of the head, dismembered his corpse and dumped his remains in the desert. Fearing capture, Kearney resigned from his jobs at Hughes Aircraft and fled with Hill to El Paso, Texas. Hill and Kearney soon turned themselves into local authorities at the urging of their families. Hill was cleared of having any involvement in Kearney's crimes, although some have theorized that Kearney isn't the actual killer but took the fall for his partner David Hill. Regardless, Kearney pled guilty to the murders. In order to avoid the death penalty, Kearney confessed to murdering 32 boys and young men, many of whom were hitchhikers or men he picked up at gay bars during the time. Police charged him with 21 counts of murder but lacked physical evidence to charge him with the other murders he confessed to. Kearney was given 21 life sentences. He is currently incarcerated at the Mule Creek State Prison in California.